Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman coming from uh, the Annex A studios in the garden level of the Holman House. And uh, I see we're going to go to another Annex studio in someone's home right now. Kelly Ellsworth Etchison, she's the uh, Chief Marketing Officer at LaughQ in Lansing, Michigan. And Kelly, it's, uh, it's great to have you on. Very good to see you. Always is. Always good to be with you, Chris. All right. Well, let's talk. Let, you know, let's talk a little bit about that financial. Uh, Twenty was just uh, devastating for a lot of folks. Um, I know that that some institutions got real busy with the PPP money, helping get it and then helping get it, uh, you know, absolved. But uh, how how did you guys do in twenty twenty one, and what came out of that year? Well, you know, that was a good. Uh, transition, but let's talk about 2020 for a minute, and then I'll just jump right into 2021, because you're right, as a financial uh, institution, we jumped right in there as well to help our members out with PPP loans. Uh, one of the things that we found, even with that, was there were people that were reaching out to us that weren't members, but they belonged to larger banking institutions, and that they weren't able to get the help uh, regarding the PPP. So they reached out to us. And, and so we were able to, you know, jump right in and help them, you know, with their needs. Uh, 2020 was interesting, and it really parlayed right into 2021, which is why I wanted to first talk about 2020 and then go into 2021. Because, you know, we, as soon as the pandemic hit, as an executive team, we assembled our team together and we really kind of reforecasted our budget because we just didn't know what to expect. You know, none of us have ever lived through a pandemic of this, you know, magnitude. And so we just didn't know what to expect. And we had July, when by the time July rolled around of that year, we had had a record month in auto loans in our, you know, 86 year history, 85 year history rather. And um, so it just kind of was like, what the heck is going on? And then asset growth. And I think, you know, people were just nervous what to do with their, you know, money. So we thought they were going to take it all out, right? And have this run on a financial institution. But that was just the opposite happened. You know, people brought their money. And so in 2021, when we saw all the stimulus money happening, uh, that is where, you know, asset growth went well above what we ever anticipated um, in our budgeting process of what asset growth would. So we had record asset growth um, in a 12 month history. We had record loan growth. Um, we exceeded our membership growth already, growth goal already. Um, and so, you know, we are, um, we in 2021, well, in 2020, we rolled out a brand new website. We, so we redesigned our website in 2020. So there were projects that we had on, on the docket that we just continued to plow through. And then at the start of 2021 in January, we you know, decided that we need to really enhance our mobile banking platform. So we switched mobile banking platform partners. We rolled out a really robust digital platform. And then we went on ahead and um, rolled in two more enhancements already this year to that digital platform. So hiring like crazy, it's just been a great, great 21. Well, so let's let's talk about that hiring thing because everybody, I mean, we just finished our future uh, business index that we presented statewide and there was not any sector of this state and in other states as well that weren't affected by a shortage of talent? You know, for us with hiring, so LACU typically has such a tenured staff. I myself have been here 33 years and, you know, our, we have tellers that actually retire from here, which is, you know, probably unheard of in some of the banking industry um, because we do pay our employees a wonderful living wage where they can actually, uh, you know, have, raise a family and, and do those sorts of things. And so um, we had people that were, you know, eligible for retirement. And so we had a lot of people retire. And in that meantime, we created positions. Um, and so we've done a lot of hiring. Excellent. I'm, I'm glad you're able to get people too. That's the, that's the other thing. Of course, you have a pretty extensive training program there. So you can, you can bring in people and teach them the uh, credit union business. 
Yeah, we do. We have a great training program. Um, and then, you know, we also hired on the executive side and management side. And, and so we've created some positions in that arena as well. And um, we have brought on some amazing talent. And, uh, and so we've got some really, really smart people. And, you know, Chris, it's always surround yourself with people that are smarter than you is what I say. And, um, and so we've done that. It's, it's just been an awesome ride. We rolled out our diversity, equity, and inclusion program in 2020 and enhanced it in 2021. So lots of wonderful initiatives. Well, I have to say, I love your uh, axiom of surround yourself with smarter people. That's always been relatively easy for me to do. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's talk a little bit about what you see ahead. And, um, you know, the, the feds are starting to rumble now. Maybe they're going to look at interest rates somewhere pretty soon. What do you think? Yeah, that, you know, it's interesting because I was just at an a economic round table probably a month ago in our industry, and it was the complete opposite. And then now, you know, this week it's been all these rumblings about, you know, the rates are going to change probably two or three times in 2022 and so you know it just all remains to be seen and, and we got to get the supply chain thing fixed and so lots of things that's going to impact that there'll be new challenges you'll have a couple of those huddling again and reconstructing right. your budget <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well listen we love what you do in the community and and what you do for your customers and uh what you on a personal level do in the community here in mid Michigan as well. Kelly uh, Ellsworth Etchison, Chief Marketing Officer at LAFQ. Thanks so much and, and by all means, have a very happy holiday, a wonderful Christmas and, uh, and a joyous new year. Yes, Merry Christmas to you too. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Kelly. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman.